away. I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. My other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in, I'm in. Today on Dino Squad, Roger's big head causes big headaches when the Dino Squad attempts to deuse a giant Gorillasaurus. Say ah. <gasps> well, you look just hunky dory, Buzz. Your turn, Caruso. Oh man, I just had an annual checkup by our family doctor. Now I have to have a dino checkup too? We could take you to the local vet, Caruso, but then you'd have to get your puppy shots. Oh man. Say ah. I can't do much more than listen to your hearts and take your temperatures. At least not without some better diagnostic equipment. Yeah, now that is some rock and beat. Dude, while you're grooving to the music, we're sweating the important stuff here. Dude, this is the important stuff. I'm not listening to music. I'm listening to my heartbeat with my new Dinoscope. The greatest advancement in dinosaur healthcare in the past 250 million years. Now you can listen to our hearts and see them at the same time. Well, I'm happy to tell you your hearts look just fine. Now, don't forget to let me know the results of your regular medical checkups, so I'll know you're all in perfect health. And this nifty little gizmo will allow me to send images of all your vital dino organs to a herpetologist friend of mine at the university, who'll be able to give us a more thorough evaluation of your dino health. Brilliant, just brilliant. If there was a Nobel Prize for dino medicine, you, Mr. Blair, would definitely win it. It's the nature of the geek. When your IQ's high enough to boil water, the brilliance just bubbles to the surface. Whoa, better let some of that air out of your head before it pops, Roger. We may not be as smart as you, but brains aren't everything. I've seen you on the football field. And I've beaten you on the racetrack plenty of times. I could be good at football if I wanted to. And anyone can ride a dino cycle, but only I can invent the technology to build one. When it comes to the important stuff, Here's where the talent lies. You're all very special in my eyes. And your self-confidence is a valuable trait that can help us accomplish our goals. Ah, I'd hope that adding petroleum to the primordial ooze would enhance the mutations. What good are mutants that only transform when frightened? Dump this batch. You've got to start over. What's up, Ms. M? It looks as though Velocis released a great deal of ooze into the ocean. That beast has no concern for the environment. Oh, he's concerned, all right. Concerned about maximizing global warming so the world will be a nice, steamy breeding ground for the return of the dinosaurs. We've got to clean up this mess. That doesn't look like any other ooze spill we've seen. You're right, Max. It's remaining on top of the water's surface and not dissipating like it usually does. Its attributes seem more like crude oil than primordial ooze. Sounds like we need to do some more research before going after it. Speak for yourself, Maxwell. As an environmentalist and an inventor, I've got just the thing to suck up an oil-based ooze slick, my new and improved Super Duper Oozevac backpack. This little dreamboat not only drinks ooze by the gallon, it'll do carpets and drapes. But wait, there's more. By switching it into reverse, It'll even blow up party balloons. Yeah, well, that's a really spiffy invention you've got there, Roger. But one thing I know from years of football, if you want the plays to come off as planned, you've got to practice them first. Practicing first is the best way to go. Even the astronauts run through their moves on Earth before executing them in space. But that slick is expanding at an alarming rate. I'm on it. <laughs> All right, guys, 
Hook these neoprene tubes together and corral the slick with them. I'll vacuum it up. Hey, these are like the ones I used to use in the city pool. You sure you don't want to practice this first, Roger? Practice is for amateurs. Just get the tubes in the water. I'll position the boat. Oh boy. Slick move, Roger. Now you've pushed the ooze into a fog bank. Gonna make it harder to see what we're doing. Maybe you should let me steer. I know how to steer a dumb boat. It was a, a sticky throttle. I'll start vacuuming, you steer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, mission accomplished. Courtesy of Roger Blair's sensationally slick gizmo. What about our slick corralling? And my slick steering. And my slick... slickness? This is Mother Saurus. The satellite scanner has picked up dino signs in your area. I've downloaded the coordinates to your GPS system. Okay, Ms. Roger that, Mother Saurus. We'll handle it. the look of that. Looks abandoned. Wow. I know this logo. They're a wildlife rescue organization. They rehabilitate injured animals and then return them to their natural habitats. Whatever wild thing shattered that crate wears size 100 Tripoli shoes. Dino! Yep, the dreaded flying Flagosaurus. The crew must have taken the lifeboat. We'd better notify the Coast Guard. Whatever caused them to abandon ship has moved inland. That's weird. The mutant tracks just end. Look at this. They're baby gorilla tracks. The little thing must have run off when it saw the mutant. How are we going to follow the mutant without footprints? Duh. What detects mutants, ooze, and came from the magnificent miracle between my ears? Earwax? My scanner! Brilliant! Just what I need to get this horrible itch that's been bugging me all afternoon. <sighs> Look what you did, Caruso. It's all staticky. Don't sweat it, Roger. We've always got our noses. What good are our noses? Not our real noses, our dino noses. Dinosaurs are much better natural trackers than humans. Fiona's right. T-Rexes have the best sense of smell. I'll see if I can pick up the scent. Go, dino! Huh? Go, dino! It's not about the best nostrils, bro. It's about the best brains. I'll find that mutant. Wild jungle, dinosaurs, a gorilla? This is so familiar. It's that old movie I saw. Yeah, what an opportunity. I'll shoot our search, upload it to the internet, become a famous movie director, then I'll win one of those little gold statues. What's his name, Oswald? This is gonna be so hot. Dr. Velocity, we're picking up something on an island in the Atlantic. We have no active mutant experiments in that quadrant. These don't look like mutant signatures. Perfect dinosaurs. Prepare the helicopter. We're going to that island. Hold it. 
Fee, fi, fo, fum. I can smell our mutant chum. He's just beyond these trees. And he smells dangerous. What I'm getting doesn't smell threatening at all. I'm gonna deuse that loser. Chill it! Back at you, Munchkin. I think the little gals found a new mother. I know how to handle primates. They're very intelligent, just like humans. I'll show you. See? What'd I tell you? Just like a human. I'll spill. I'll chill. Get ready to chill her. I'll cover you. And I'll cover the shot. I, I told you I smelled a mutant. A big one. It doesn't matter if you were right or wrong, Roger. Let's just put this baby to bed. Get your dino rump out of the way, Max. Oh, I gotcha. Huh? Buzz! She must have thought I was going to hurt him. Ah, oh, great. Now she's in protective mother mode. Roger, see if you can fix that scanner. Yeah, right. I'll have it working in a sec. What do you want? Emotion! Pathos! I want my audience to know the inner turmoil of my brilliant leading man as he struggles to overcome his personal inadequacies. Yeah, well, maybe I'm not perfect, but I'm still smart enough to capture that mutant. Got it. Come on. Sir, we've lost the dinosaurs, but we've still got the mutant reading. Move in on it. <laughs> you want to protect me, don't you? But you're really the scared little gorilla baby who's all alone in a great big jungle. <laughs> When none of my friends or family are around and I'm feeling lonely, sometimes I play video games. I got a game you might like. <laughs> yeah, you rock! But you'll dig the gizmo in music mode, too. A dancing mutant. Awesome. I don't believe what I'm seeing. On what? <laughs> huh? Hey, little one, you're back! Now the mutants vanish too! There's still a faint signal, sir. It's too weak to be a mutant or a dinosaur. But we better check it out. Buzz, I thought you were gonna save me a dance. The little gal just morphed back to normal all of a sudden. I wonder why. Let's de ooze her before she goes mutant again. No, no, no. This is way too boring of an ending for my cinematic masterpiece. I need something big, something dramatic, something like Velocity's beastly helicopter heading right for us. 
Forget it, Caruso. Like we're going to wait around for your perfect ending? We don't have to. Velocity's helicopter is heading right for us. We've got to go Dino before he gets close enough to recognize us. You guys always want to go Dino at the first sign of trouble. It's human brains that'll get us out of this mess, not Dino Braun. Whoa! Slow down a minute, Roger, before your self-confidence morphs into a full-blown egosaurus. I hate to remind you, but you have made a few mistakes today. Where were your brains then? Okay, so maybe I don't know everything, but I do know how to save our Dino next. Velocity Scanner tracks ooze and dinos just like mine. So if we go dino, he'll probably spot us. But if we stay human and run for cover into the jungle, he'll have no way to track us. Whoever they are, they've got something that's registering on the scanner. We'll have them surrounded in a few minutes. Get it. They shouldn't have been able to find us so easily. But they did. Now what's the plan, Brainosaurus? I guess we better run that way. We're trapped. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, guys. I may have geek tech coming out of my ears, but I just didn't want to admit that I'm not really that hot at most other things. And as hard as it is for me to admit that, there's something that's even harder for me to say. I don't know how to get us out of this. Maybe Ms. Moynihan can help. They're just ahead of you. Move in! I don't know how they tracked us, but they'll be here any second. I see. Did you vacuum up the ooze spill? Yeah. And you're wearing the backpack now? Uh-huh. Why? Velocity is tracking the ooze in your backpack. That's also why your scanner is acting up. Oh man, how'd I miss that? So now that I feel even more like a failure, can you help get us out of this mess? Oh, I can't do that, Roger. But that baby gorilla Saurus you found, she might be able to. You say she went mutant when she was under stress? Through those trees. Hurry! Here they come. Okay, guys. This time I'm sticking to what I'm good at and letting you do what you do best. Go, Buzz! Oh, oh. <laughs> We flushed one out. It's a pteranodon. A perfect one. Capture moon. Colossi's got buds. Perfect. Ah! Gorilla girl, help! Ah! <laughs> Pull away! Forget about the mutant. Capture the perfect one! Now that's what I call terrific teamwork. What an ending! Spectacular! 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 Today's gonna fill an entire chapter in my diary. Cleaned up a spill, took out Velocity, saved an abandoned gorilla. Yeah, don't worry, Munchkin. The Coast Guards let your wildlife rescue folks know that you'll be safe with us. And they're going to see that you get back to your home jungle. In the meantime, you can stay in my room. Now that's a real jungle. Guys, I'm really sorry I was being such a know-it-all. I just thought being smart meant my ideas were better. Being confident is a good thing, Roger. But knowing what you don't know can be as important as knowing what you do know. I knew that. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Roger, but I know everything about filmmaking. And this movie is just too fantastic for words. And I've got the perfect title for it. Caruso? Erwin Caruso's thriller of a chiller, Dino Gorilla Invades Manila. 
uh, Caruso. I know, I know, it wasn't Manila, who cares? It's not that. I tried to tell you before, in the high resolution mode, you only get about 10 seconds of record time. What? Well, then what did I shoot? The statues! What's his name? Oswald? It's gone! Technically speaking, it was never really there in the first place. Know it all. <laughs> Don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA. Now I try to 